going everybody, my name is Captain Vaughn Podmore. I operate a guide service out of Huntington Beach. I fine-tuned our local waters, tides, winds. Um, so my goal is to try and get newcomers to the sport. Okay, so the first step we're doing is we go to tie on the dumbbell up. Start from the front of the hook, about an eighth back. And what kind of thread are you using, Vaughn? Um, this is a three yard. Danville thread, salt water thread, very strong. Click my excess off, I come back, you're ready to put my dumbbell eye on. What you do is you go, what we're doing is a figure of eight, so quarter one side, come back, mm -hmm. and what that does is it locks it in. So you do a figure of eight, and then go around the bottom. You don't want to put too much thread on. We're going to lock it in nice and tight. Now, enough if I was in a hurry, I wouldn't put this on, but I always believe that every step, it's always good to put a little dab of glue on there, because these Benita have big teeth. Right, we're going to start off on a bucktail. Your anchovy, the average size is about three and a half inches long. Um, Typically when I tie these little anchovy patterns, they more or less on that two and a half to three inch size. So going too big, sometimes you won't get the fish. Tying too thick of a fly um, doesn't look good in the water. So you want to try and make it as natural as possible. So we're going to start off with a little pinch of bucktail. Comb your feathers out so it pulls out all the little loose guys. Flip it. When you tie it down, you start off with your bucktail on the front of the hook. Now make sure that you've left enough room in the front. You don't want to get too close to the eye of the hook. And what you do is you put it caddy to the hook so when you wrap it on, it doesn't tend to pull over the whole hook. So you put it caddy to that side. At first wrap, do it lightly and then start wrapping real tight. Go forward come back. Now this here you want to pull over the hook. Now the trick with this is that first initial wrap, you don't want it to wrap it too hard because what happens is the bucktail splays out like that. And we want that to lay nice and tight. So the first wrap, you do it pretty soft, put a little bit of pressure on, and then as you're going back, you release the pressure and what that does is it lays the bucktail down again. Come back forward and you can take that nice and slender, turn the hook over, come back forward with your thread. Now I know there's various ways of tying a clouser but this is for me the easiest and fastest way. Put some more hardest nails on there and the next step is some UV crystal flash. Now the UV crystal flash is very important. If you look at a live anchovy, when he's on his side, the, the real live one, he's got this little bit of iridescent UV look to it. And I think um, as a lateral line, it's, it's key to have that in some of your anchovy patterns. I think the fish pick up on it, and especially when you sink that fly down deep. That UV flash definitely pulls off. So I run my flash the length of the body, maybe just a few of the crystals just sticking out past the, the bucktail. Make one loose wrap, another one to lock it down. Then the excess I bring over again, and this time I'll pull it to the opposite side of the hook. So we've got a mirror image of it, lock it down again. At that point your fly is almost tied. The next step is to throw some of this angel hair black flash in. We try and find some here. Find a little pinch. We don't want to go too long. We don't want to go longer than what the, the, the bottom of the body is. So we cut that nice and short. Tie in the angel hair. 
just need a little pinch of it. Come down a little loose. Tighten up on it. Just finish the head off by going back and forth. And then we find my whip finish, which I don't have, but we can do a whip finish with my fingers. So we're doing some half hitches, two fingers, wrap around once, twice, pull it over the hook, cinch it down, do another two, one, two, and your fly is done. Cut it off. Now the other important thing over the years of fishing for this Benita is to have a little red throat. You can use a red crystal flash to tie in or or marabou, it's easier with a sharpie. What you want to do is you just color a little bit of red sharpie to make it a throat. And put some head cement on, hard as nails. I think some of the best stuff on the market. And that's our fly.